A drone attack on U.S. forces has killed three U.S. military servicemen and injured 34 others in Jordan near the Syrian border. U.S. President Joe Biden has blamed Iran-backed militant groups for the attacks and vowed to punish them. While we are still gathering the facts of this attack, we know it was carried out by radical Iran-backed militant groups operating in Syria and Iraq, Biden said in a statement. The incident marked the first time U.S. troops have been killed by enemy fire in the Mideast since the start of the Gaza War, CNN reported. The attack comes amid efforts to keep the Israel-Hamas conflict from spilling over through the wider region. Two different officials said some wounded U.S. forces were medically evacuated from the base for further treatment. The attack has sparked outrage in the U.S. U.S. Senate Republican leader Mitch McConnell said Biden's inaction was emboldening enemies of the United States in the Middle East. The time to start taking this aggression seriously was long before more brave Americans lost their lives, McConnell said. Meanwhile, a senior official with Hamas, Sami Abu Zuri, directly tied the attack to Israel's campaign in Gaza. The killing of three American soldiers is a message to the U.S. administration that unless the killing of innocents in Gaza stops, it must confront the entire nation, he told Reuters.